Hi guys! So, today I wanted to talk about something which I've never talked about on this channel before. I have kind of talked about things that are related because I made a video about why I don't want children. I mean, I, I don't think, I don't even remember that video, but I'm not sure it was really about why I don't want children. It was more like, you know, stating that I do not want any child. But today I wanted to talk about fertility and about just the fact that you can carry a human being and that you can just, you know, have a baby or a child. But you might know that I am asexual and I don't think this is necessarily linked, but, um, you know, like, well, okay, <laughs> this is gonna be a confused video. I've been for quite a while now kind of reflecting on my identity and why I feel so strongly that I am a girl and that I am a girl. I was gonna say why I'm a woman, but I don't think of myself as a woman. Why, what does it mean for me to be a girl? What are the characteristics that make me a girl? Um, and you know, I feel like because of my asexuality, a lot of the things that I feel that I am or that I relate to are more on the neutral side. I'm not a sexual being very much, so um, it's also hard to kind of be like... Because I feel like a lot of women tend to... First of all, a lot of girls say they're... A lot of females can say that they're women. Or even if that's it's not their first choice, it doesn't make them feel uncomfortable, or it doesn't them it doesn't make them feel weird to call themselves women. For me, if I call myself a woman, it feels really strange, and I don't feel it's accurate. Um, I think it has something to do with my asexuality, which I am not saying that asexuality prevents you from being a man or a woman. But for me personally, the way I feel it is that it really makes me, it puts me in like, I'm a feminine being, but I am not a woman. And on top of that, I don't want children. And I used to think, you know, it's just I don't want children. But thinking about it more and more, I have realized that I am just really uncomfortable with the idea that my body can carry a child. I feel like this is something that shouldn't be in my body. I feel like this is not a property that my body should have. And, you know, I realized this when I was talking about it with colleagues at some point, actually. I was like, you know, I don't want any child and blah, blah, blah. And it's like people will tell you, well, just make sure you don't get pregnant then. Um, but it's not even about that. It's just I don't want to be a fertile being. I don't want to have this sort of, even though it's not inherently sexual or it's not necessarily sexual, for me I see it as a sexual component, so it doesn't really make sense for me to have it. So lately I've been really considering um, maybe two kinds of surgery. Uh, and it really is strange because I am very very afraid of surgery like I haven't been to the doctor in so long and by doctor I mean like to actually get something done not just get medicine um, I haven't had an injection in over honestly I think it's been 10 years uh, blood shots as well but I am so interested and tempted by the idea of either sort of permanently, uh, not cutting, but like clipping, I guess you could say. Um, okay, I should have lo looked up the vocabulary before, but you know what I'm talking about. Or oh, there is another sort of surgery which is super, super quick and easy, and they basically just put little uh, things inside both of your, both of the, you know, the parts, and so basically you can't get pregnant. But for me it's not even about getting pregnant as like I want a form of contraception. It's more like I don't want to feel and be reminded and know that my body can do it. It's quite strange because honestly I have never really met anyone who feels that way. I've met a few people that don't want any children but they're not like necessarily... I am disgusted by pregnant women. I find it very disturbing and disgusting. 
it's I think it's not even about children it's just the whole the whole reproductivity aspect of it like I can be someone who carries someone and gives birth and everything I feel like I am not made for this and I feel like not only am I not made for this but I would really like it to just disappear from my body and I'm not sure it's actually linked to asexuality um, but it definitely you know the I think asexuality really has something to do with it I think I don't recognize myself in the very sort of like physiological basic uh, properties, capacities of my body, of any sort of body actually, you know. So yeah, I had never really talked about it before, so I thought it was, it could be perhaps interesting and actually I'm just really curious if any of you feel this way. I'm really curious about how you feel about being in the, you know, in a position where you could carry a child and for men and boys who are watching it, um, how do you feel about you know, knowing that you also can contribute to the human population. Like, how does it feel? Because it's obviously a very different experience. I just want to say maybe I sounded a bit like boys and girls and women and men. Um, no, okay. Uh, I know that all, not all women can carry a child and not all men can't carry a child. Okay. Um, so yeah, let me know how you feel about it. Let me know if any of you kind of relates to what I just talked about. I know it was a bit confusing perhaps, but I would really love to have your input because it's a bit some it's something that's a bit difficult for me to even wrap my head around. So I really would love any um uh, feedback. You know, not in the sense of like feedback trying to psychoanalyze me psychoanalyze what? Well, you know, you understand what I mean, but psychoanalyze me, but just in the sense of I would love to hear what your thoughts for you, because it's a very personal matter are. So thank you for watching, guys, and I shall see you later. Bye!